everyone, welcome back to another video here on Dunks Money. And before we jump into the main video for today, just a, a quick introduction for those of you who are new to the channel. Uh, so I am Dunk and I am a Scottish investor and trader, although I'm more of an investor than I am a trader. More of a long-term value investor, but I do enjoy trading if the opportunity arises. Uh, just a bit more information about me, I am more of a fundamentalist as opposed to technical trader, although I can read charts and I do have a knowledge of both. So being a fundamentalist, meaning that basically I look more at the core business numbers uh, before I purchase any sort of stock or share, which uh, a stock and a share are the same thing, just for your information. Now, what I tend to do on YouTube is I post videos of me buying and selling stocks and shares. Um, and the reason I do that is because when I started off investing and trading uh, a few years ago now, uh, I, I did myself find it very confusing and the jargon, I just couldn't get my head around it. And I decided to create a YouTube channel and become a YouTuber and create my own videos with a name of making investing and trading easier and more simple to understand for folk who are new to it. So that is the reason for the YouTube channel. And I do post videos each week, uh, like I say, of me investing or trading uh, and other sort of financial money matters. So it's a really fun hobby of mine and I really do enjoy creating these little videos and I hope you enjoy them as much as I do creating them. Um, now, just for your info guys, in the description below this video, you'll see I've put links up to apps that I use, uh, trading apps or money apps, and I think they're really good little apps, and I do enjoy them. And just for your info, if you sign up to Trading212 using that code below, we both get a free share. I'm not here on a hard sell at all. It's up to you if you go through the app, the, the, the code. If you do, we both get a free share, and it's a free code that everyone gets when they sign up to Trading212. And it's up to you. You might use a different broker. That's up to you. Uh, and also guys, you'll see below a list of books. Now these are books just like these ones here, really handy books that I think are great to have in your arsenal. Uh, as a beginner investor or trader, um, it's really important, I think, in my opinion, to have books that are ready reference books that you can refer to at any time if you get a bit confused or need a bit more information about something. And uh, you really can't put a price on having too many books. I've got quite a collection now, but I do enjoy my books. So feel free to have a look at my list of what I use and you might find books that are even better. And if so, let me know in the comments. I'm always keen to learn what books are out there and what people are finding really useful. Um, and uh, yeah, so check out the books. And just a quick disclaimer as well, guys. Uh, any stocks or shares or any other matter that I'm discussing on the channel is purely my opinion. Now remember, I'm not a financial advisor. And in any video that I do, I'm not advising that you, um, you buy into it. Remember that you can lose all of your investments. Uh, and any money that you put into investing or trading, you can lose it all. It can go up, but it can also go down. So please do your own due diligence before making any sort of purchase, investment or trade. And always do your own checks. Make sure you're comfortable with it and that you feel happy to proceed with it. And like I say, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, so without for any further ado, uh, I really hope you enjoy this next video and that it brings you some value. So why don't you go and get a cup of tea, or a cup of coffee, or a Horlicks, or an Ovaltine, or a hot chocolate, whatever floats your boat, and sit back and enjoy this video. Remember to subscribe for all the videos that come out, and if you've liked it, please hit like so that I know, I know I'm going in the right direction. Uh, and feel free to comment and let me know what you think. So, enjoy. Hello YouTube, hello money friends, welcome back to another episode here with me, Dunk, on Dunk's Money. Uh, sorry I've not posted in a wee while, guys. But I have been making lots of investments and there'll be more videos coming up soon. It's been a bit of a kind of volatile week, I would say, the last couple of weeks for the old uh, investment stocks and shares portfolio. I don't know if anyone else is having the same sort of issues, but um, for me, because I've got a lot of US stocks, I'm finding that the, the resurgence of COVID is causing lots of ups and downs across many of my um, stocks. But it's fine because I'm for the long term anyway, so I'm hoping to ride all the bumps out, so that's fine. So today we're going to talk about the Walt Disney Company. So I bought shares in Disney uh, towards the beginning of June. Now I think we all know Walt Disney. Um, obviously they've got many theme parks. But they've also got all the movies that they sell, TV programs, TV channels. And obviously this recently they've uh, released Disney Plus. And uh, me personally, I've been to Disney parks in Florida and Paris and I really like it. I've also got family who love Disney Plus, they watch it all the time and they pay the subscriptions. So for me, that's why I like Disney, because I've got personal experiences of them. And it's a company that I like and I've always enjoyed it. And I think they're, they've got quite a good uh, business model there, so 
that's why I like Disney. Now, Disney are based um, in Burbank, that's where their headquarters are, in the United States, with 223,000 employees, so a fairly big company. Now, did you know that the Disney IPO, the initial public offering, was in 1957, and it was co-led by Goldman Sachs, and at that time a Disney share was $13.80. Uh, so, if we look at other big companies, um, not, not a huge difference there, I would say, in the share price today to what it was during the IPO. Not massive compared to some of the other big companies that we've looked at. Um, but anyway, if we look at some of the key ratios for the Walt Disney Company, uh, market capitalization of $201 billion. Now remember the market cap, guys, which is commonly referred to. Market cap is the number of shares that are owned by investors like us times by the share price. And when you do that, when you times that, you get the market cap, $201 billion. So a fairly large company. A P.E. ratio of 22.25. Now, I try and aim for a low P.E. ratio. So this isn't a very low P.E. ratio, but it's certainly not the highest that I've seen. Now, remember, the P.E. ratio is the price of the stock in comparison to the earnings of the company. And generally speaking, you aim, you try and aim for a low P.E. ratio. Um, but I'm quite happy because I like Disney. And I've got faith in Disney. Uh, earnings per share, $5.01. So not too bad. I have bought shares before that were negative. So that's uh, a good start for me. And the Disney dividend, historically, has been $1.70 a share, but uh, unfortunately they, they did scrap their dividend um, for this year due to the COVID sort of lock break uh, pandemic and needing to hold some money. And historically, Disney have been looked at as being a very well, a very good dividend paying uh, stock. Um, and their beta score, 1.11. Now remember, beta is a measure of volatility, so generally speaking, a beta score less than one means that the stock price hasn't moved more than the general market, whereas a beta score of over one means that the stock price has moved more generally than the general than the overall market. So you could say that Disney's stock price is slightly volatile. Uh, now we do know, guys, that obviously with more volatility, sometimes bigger return, but there's more risk. So you have to play that at your own what you want to do. I'm quite happy with it, so I'm going to go for it. Now, if we look at Disney's income statement, from 2017 to 2019, uh, we can see that their turnover, which is their total sales, guys, that's all the ticket sales for all the parks, subscriptions, everything, uh, their total turnover was increasing from 17 to 2019 to 2019, $69.57 billion. So a lot of money. Um, and their net profit, which is the key here, guys, so net profit is when you take all the costs away from the total turnover, the total sales, um, their net profit was gradually going up as well, steadily, from two, from 2017 to 19. So in 2019, they made a net profit of $11 billion, which is massive. Uh, so bringing in a profit margin of about 15.5%, which is decent. But it'll be interesting to see what's happening in 2020, obviously given the parks are closed with the coronavirus lockdown. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what um, we might find happens uh, with that, as we can expect, I would imagine the sales will definitely have dropped, um, but it is what it is, isn't it? Um, now, if we look at their balance sheet, now from 2017 to 2019, Disney's assets have been increasing. So they've obviously been investing in infrastructure or whatever else, and their assets have increased. So in 2019, their total assets of $193 billion, but their liabilities have also been increasing in, the, in those same three years. Total liabilities, $105 billion, um, bringing a debt-to-asset ratio of 54%. So if you take the value of their assets, half that value is debt. Now, it's not the worst I've seen, guys, um, but it's not the best. But still, 50%, I'm not too concerned with that. It'll be interesting to see in 2020 how those figures change. Um, and just, I quite like to look, I quite like to see the year-to-date price change. So the today's current stock price for Walt Disney is 22% less than what it was this time last year. So the stock price obviously has taken a bit of a hit with the lockdown. Now what we'll do now guys is we'll jump into the Trading 212 app and you can watch me buying my shares in Walt Disney. Welcome everybody back into the Trading 212 app here today with me Dunk from Dunk's Money and it's the 8th of June 2020. Today I'm going to buy some Walt Disney shares. 
I'm quite interested in Walt Disney. I'm aware that they've dropped the dividend, but um, no, I'm quite happy. At, just looking at the charts here, I'm quite happy with what I'm seeing and uh, quite happy with all the, the numbers and ratios. So I'm going to buy in. See what we can get here. For five. Five shares. See if we can get that to five. Go for that. Should come through pretty quick. Right, so it's five Walt Disney at one, two, five dollars. So we'll see how that goes. I'll hold on to it for a while anyway. I'm quite happy to hold on to it. So see how that goes. So there everybody. I on the eighth of June bought five shares in Walt Disney at $125 a share or £98 a share for us in the UK. Now what was interesting was in November 2019 they hit a peak of $152 a share uh, but in March this year just following the lockdown it dropped to $86 uh, which was a fair drop uh, so that's where I should have hit in anyway I missed out but that's fine. Um, like I say I've bought in because I do like Disney the company. I'm hoping that I've bought in at a time when they've taken a dip due to the lockdown and what I'm hoping is that once maybe next year, the year after, maybe even three years time when things get back to some sort of normality and the parks start to reopen, I'm hoping the stock price will go back up. Uh, now we know that Disney are planning reopening some of the, well, some parks on July the 11th in America so we're interested to see what happens to the stock price when that happens. Now bear in mind the dividend was scrapped for this year guys um, and something else quite exciting I think Disney have begun, um, they've basically begun offering their Disney Plus subscription in India now. So folk in India can now watch Bollywood movies through Disney Plus. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that opens up. Obviously India's got a humongous population. So it'll be interesting to see how that might help the stock price as well once they confirm that's happening. Yeah, that'd be great. But no, I'm quite happy with Disney. I do like them, as I say, good company. I've been to the Disney parks. I love the service you get. It's always been really fun. Loads of friends that I have, family that I have, they love going to Disneyland, Disney World. Uh, for me, they, they do appear to be a very strong company who are just currently being really badly affected by the coronavirus lockdown. Uh, so, be interesting to see what happens in a year's time. Maybe I'll do a video in a year's time. We'll see where it is. Uh, currently today, it is down at $111 per share, so I'm down a bit. <laughs> anyway, that's life. And that is investing. Uh, you won't get rich overnight. Or you might, if you had bought Tesla. Um, Maybe not overnight, in a few years you would have got rich. But thankfully for me, my Tesla share is helping keep me going through these times. <laughs> but no, thanks guys for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. And uh, let me know below what you guys think of Disney. I'd be interested to see, hear what you guys think. And as always, if you're a subscriber, thank you for subscribing. And uh, yeah, cheers for watching me waffling on. All the best guys, stay safe and enjoy investing and trading. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video that I put there for you guys. I really enjoy making these videos and bringing them to you. Uh, now remember that anything I discuss in the video is purely my opinion and you always must do your own checks. Don't take what I tell you uh, as an instruction to make any sort of purchase. Always do your checks guys, it's really important. Uh, remember you can also follow me on Instagram, link is below in the description. Remember to hit subscribe so you get all my videos as they come out. And if you've enjoyed this video, please smash the like button just so I know I'm going in the right direction. And feel free to comment and let me know what you think. Um, it's always good and I'm so glad to see so many folk now engaging with the channel. And remember, stay safe and enjoy trading and investing.